My dear students, today I would be taking up a topic from surgery and my focus today would be CA urinary bladder, the bladder cancer. So as far as urinary bladder cancer is concerned, we are asked many questions from this topic. First of all, what are the predisposing factors for bladder cancer? And you have to remember that the bladder cancer is predisposed by certain important factors in some cases. And one of the important factors is smoking, that we usually concentrate on smoking as far as lung CA is concerned. But remember that smoking is an important factor for development of bladder cancers as well. Then chronic exposure to polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, it is also associated with CA bladder. Then the chimney sweeps and the intake of this drug cyclophosphamide is associated with high risk of bladder CA as is the infection by Schistosomia hematobonium. So these happen to be some of the predisposing factors for bladder CA and then the chromosomal involvements of 9Q chromosome 17P and 18Q is associated with bladder CA. Now the bladder CA is usually a disease of the elderly. It is not usually seen in the young age group and the most common age group is six to seven decades and most commonly it occurs in the trigone or the posterior lateral wall of the urinary bladder and pathologically it is usually multifocal. Then we can be having this bladder CA developing from non-invasive kiss ulcers as well as carcinoma and C2 lesions. And now how does the patient with CA bladder present? Usually the patient with bladder CA may present with painless hematuria which can be gross or microscopic. So you can have hematuria as an early sign of bladder CA. Some patients may have increased frequency of urination or some patients may have urgency to urinate. These are some of the symptomatologies related to the bladder itself. Some patients may complain of bone pain. There might be associated pelvic cliff endopathy and in case of metastatic disease, you can be having the involvement of the liver and the lungs, the two most common sites of metastatic bladder CA. Cystoscopy would well be used to have a look at the inside of the bladder and just detect the lesions at the early stage as well as urinary cytology. In addition, CT MRI would guide you by just knowing the extent of the disease as well as the metastatic spread. Then we have those tests like the BTA test, urinary nuclear matrix protein NMP22 which is used in documentation of bladder CA, NMP22 levels as well as hyaluronidase levels and the Lewis X antigen levels as well as telomerase activity seen in exfoliated cells, I mean to say urinary cytology. So these happen to be some of the important diagnostic methods by which we can diagnose or get a clue about bladder C. Now as far as treatment is concerned, we can just do cystectomy and wherever applicable and we use a lot many drugs like the drugs mitomycin C, thiotipa as well as epirubicin and BCG. Basilocarmidgurine BCG is used in the intravesical treatment of bladder CA. Then we have some regimes and in those regimes we use a whole lot lot of drugs like methotrexate, vinblastine, doxorubicin and cisplatin. So these happen to be the drugs very effective in treating bladder CA. Out of all this you have to remember some of the predisposing factors as a recap, smoking, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, cyclophosphamide infections by schistosomia hematoboni and then the trigone being affected, the posterolateral wall being the most common site, multifocality in origin and then painless hematuria, frequency, urgency, bone pains, pelvic leaf adenopathy, then the BTA test, the NMP22 test, hyaluronidase, Lewis X antigen test, telomerase activity in exfoliated cells. These are all the things you have to remember in addition to the drugs used like the B 
BCG mitomycin C, the thiotipa, epirubicin, methotrexate, vinblastin, doxorubicin, cisplatin. I hope that you remember these important facts about bladder CA and this will aid you in answering your questions about bladder CA in a better manner. Wish you good luck for your upcoming exams. Thanks a lot.